We're delighted to see you all here this morning. In our moment, you're going to hear from the Prime Minister. Uh, later, you see the Queen to receive your awards. And uh, tonight, you dine with the Duke of York. This is not a typical day. <laughs> Congratulations to you. You've achieved extraordinary things. I've been reading some of your CVs and the organisations you've set up, the causes you've championed, the things that you've done, all before the age of 29, is incredibly impressive. I'm a big believer in the Commonwealth. It's an extraordinary organisation, bringing in so many different countries, from some of the biggest in the world, like India, to tiny island states in the Pacific. And what I think is great about the Commonwealth is that we live in a world with so many challenges that we all share, and we face these challenges together. And what I find as a Prime Minister, as a leader, is that the more clubs you can be involved in internationally, the better, because you have a better chance of getting things done. Now, Britain's very lucky. We're in the G8, we're in the G20, we're in the European Union, we're in NATO, but we're also in this extraordinary diverse organisation, the Commonwealth. I'm a very big believer in what I call the big society. The idea that if you want to change things, if you want to see a fairer and more just society, you cannot rely on government alone. You need to have these great social organizations and movements and causes and champions. As uh, Gandhi put it, we should be the change we want to see in the world. Congratulations on what you've done. Think hard about the Commonwealth and what it means. Think hard about the big society and what you're doing for it and celebrate the fact that all young leaders are very proud to have you here today.